Hello, and welcome to another episode of Doses of Moses. Oh, crrr. So, I went to the pits of hell. I traveled through Mexico because they were trying to keep him at the borders. And I found him in his little lost language land, and I brought him back. It's stupid. <laughs> At the time of my life, it's stupid. Anyways, um, well, she really did, but I decided that our friendship meant a lot to me, so I was like, you know what, you should come back and be in the video. I was on vacation because I felt like it, because I thought it was too good for the video. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, um, welcome back to my channel. So today, <laughs> we are going to be reacting to... RuPaul's Drag Race, please don't sue me. RuPaul's Drag Race, but the best drag queen win. Um, for all three season eight, we literally. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, we literally just finished season. What season are we on? Fifteen. Fifteen, and Sasha Colby won the crown, and bam, we already forgot about her. Just like that. <laughs> yeah, because we're already on All Stars 8, which is crazy because, like, I know. There wasn't even two weeks and we're already doing All Stars, but let's get into this. All right. Today we're going to be reacting, reacting, -ru RuPaul, don't even try <laughs> feeling that, to the promo looks of RuPaul's Drag Race. Please don't sue me! RuPaul's Drag Race, All Stars promo 8. <laughs> so we hope you enjoy! Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we're live! <laughs> Difficulties. <laughs> Please don't pay attention to the two homos sitting on the bed. <laughs> Anyways, um, first up we have Jan's mom, which I didn't even know that was her mother. Did you know that? No. Alexis Michelle. <laughs> now that I know, I'm like, Ooh. and I'll say one thing straight. Yes. Nina, sh Nina Bobina Brown should have been Black China. Should have been Black China. Yes. Why? You're a fake fan. Anyways, <laughs> um. Let's talk promo look. <laughs> All right, so we, we have Alexis Michelle. She's wearing this pink dress. It has a cape, it looks like. It's definitely a cape. Over the shoulder cape. An over the shoulder cape. I think it's actually pretty classy. What do you think? She looks great. She looks um, great. Um, the makeup's beat, the hair is beat, the promo looks beat. Mm -hmm. um, everything is good. I, well, biases aside, I hope she's not as annoying in her season <laughs> as she's going to be here because in her no. season she annoyed the shit out of me. Yeah. But if we're just like reacting to her being back, I'm annoyed. I honestly am happy that she's back only because I think there's going to be a lot of drama. <laughs> I think she's going to bring a lot of drama because she was dramatic in her season and in this season she's going to make it interesting. I don't think she's going to win. <laughs> But it's entertaining, and that's what I'm here for. That's true. <laughs> and to end that note, like I said, Nina Benina Brown, if you're watching this video, you should have been Black China. <laughs> yeah, whatever that means. <laughs> next, di oh wait, sorry. Yeah. Oh, next dip into. Oh yeah, it's next dip into the cool waters of Darien Lake. Masala sauce, please don't sue me. Oh wait, it's Darien Lake. <laughs> I I think she looks significantly better. Can we compliment the weight loss? Yes. Girl. She looks pretty good. She I love this dress. Good. Yeah. She looks really good. And this dress is pretty nice. I don't think there's anything to talk about this dress. Please wait while the helicopter flies by. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> no, she looks beautiful. Um, I actually saw her at DragCon and um, she was so nice. So I'm actually very excited to see her back because it's usually the fan favorite girls that you think are nice and they're actually a-holes in person. And then you have girls like this that are like, not the fan favorite, but they're totally nice in person. And she was really? so nice in person. Hi, Darian. Glad to have you back, <laughs> you shady elephant. The original shady elephant, not Mr. Rico O'Hara. Okay. I'm also excited for her to be back because of, like you said, her shady season, season mm -hmm. six was one of the, like the, some of the most shady moments were because of her and I was living for it. I like her and I'm excited to be entertained by her too. Oh, same. <laughs> and this promo look, she looks good. The hair, good. the makeup, the pose, like that dress is fitting so well to her body. Mm -hmm. That long train. I know you like trains around on you, so this is probably <laughs> nice for you. It's to be uh. necessarily like trains. <laughs> <laughs> no shrub we have hide in the closet. I can't do her voice, I swear to sound like an English person. Is there something stuck in your throat? <laughs> I was trying to do the whistle that she does. The 
<laughs> you know what? In your pictures where you have that Photoshop gap, you could have totally done this. That I no longer have. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Heidi, I wish you would have taken RuPaul's <laughs> advice and changed your name to all those other names that she gave you that I don't remember because it was so long ago. Is she still hiding in closet? Or is she's she... still hiding in closet. She never changed it? No. Oh. It still doesn't roll all the time. <laughs> I like it. I still like it a lot. I think it's great. I'm glad she fixed her makeup. <laughs> yeah, she looks really good. This dress is freaking amazing. It's very um, you like investigative. It? You like it. I like it. Uh, it's very, it's very different. It's I like, I like the pointy hips of it. Mm -hmm. I like how like sophisticated it looks, and I like. Please pause for those messages. I like There's another airplane flying by. <laughs> oh God, it doesn't sound in the video. It's stupid. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Everyone's like, what the fuck? Let me Photoshop in a plane. <laughs> Let me video edit a plane. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, what do you think about this outfit? <laughs> Um, actually, I mean, I guess the hips do add dimension. Um, it's cute. Heidi looks very good. <laughs> she has come a long way since Nicki Minaj clocked her in her makeup. Um, I will say that when I, total side note, Heidi, if you're watching, um, when I was performing at Pride in Ventura, I was walking by, I was that girl that was dressed in the <laughs> raver gear, and you're like, ooh, who's that bitch? That was me. How you doing? <laughs> Serenity.acid. Look me up, honey. She probably doesn't even remember that day. This is why I don't invite you to my videos anymore. <laughs> anyway, I love the outfit. It looks good. I'm excited to have her back because you, 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 I'm worried about Heidi. Me too. Glad to have you back, girl. You look beautiful. I love the outfit. It's going to be good with you there. I'm excited to see you. <laughs> Next up, we have... What? James Mansfield. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just talk about for a second that she literally cannot remember anything before we even like even start this little memo right here? She's like, "Fuck, I don't know." Her. Sorry, mom. She's like, "I don't know her name." And I was like, "Girl, how do you not know the queen's names? Remember what I said, people? If you're gonna have queens on your channel, at least know how to pronounce and say their names before you go on the video." Which he kind of did, but it's like. All I gotta say is that if you're gonna be an all-star, you better be rememberable and clear. James Manfield <laughs> is memorable. You better stop. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> James, you were one of the sweetest, most like awesome queens. I saw you in Las Vegas for the EDC show. You killed that shit. You do your hair now, you do your makeup, like you're basically styling his wigs now. <laughs> and I am so so excited to have you back. Actually, of the girls that we've seen thus far, you are my favorite right now to be re returning. Okay, I remember he, she was cookie. I remember she was entertaining, but she went home like in the first two, one or two episodes. That wasn't her fault. Well. But let's talk about this look. Let's get into this look. <laughs> this is actually pretty interesting. I, I actually really like it. I like the little fan in the back. Like, She's eating the girls right now. She's like eating. <laughs> and I think we have a trend alert. Please don't sue me. <laughs> Um, it's the it's trains. the trains. It's the trains. Which, like I said, you like having a good train ride on you. So, but <laughs> where does that come from? This is beautiful. She looks like a Barbie. She, oh, the makeup is flawless. The hair is flawless. Like, yeah. Girl did not come to play. Come on, Met Gala. I like the shade of pink that it is. It's like very subtle, but it's still pink. It's not like too pink. It's stupid. <laughs> Just this is kidding. It's brown. <laughs> this isn't about my. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, hold on. Oh no, we're we're really bitch. <laughs> Straight from season two, it's Serenity Acid. Gone wrong. <laughs> She's from season two. I remember, but I slightly blanked out on her name. Oh my god, it's Jessica Wilde. Jessica Wilde. Ah, that's right. <laughs> I like Jessica Wilde. Welcome back to Jessica Wilde. It's, you know what's crazy is that she was supposed to be on like two seasons ago, but at the very last minute they called her and said that they weren't going to take her and I think that's when they took Shay Calais on. They oh. swapped out Jessica Wilde for Shay Calais at the very last minute. Oh, really? Yeah. How did you find this out? Girl, you know I love the and everything. Apparently. Um, but, oh my gosh, hey Jessica, <laughs> the chicken's back, honey. <laughs> 
Oh, that's not a chicken. Not I really was. liked her season. I thought she was entertaining. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm excited to see how she's going to perform because it's been like a long time since we've seen her and who knows how she's changed and she's improved, but it looks like she's improved with this outfit. Yeah, this is gorgeous. The purple, the royalty. I just hope they don't do her dirty and they send her home first. Or somewhere like, you know how they try to do the early queens out early? And if it's voting again, I don't know where Jessica stands with these other girls. So, you know, for the earlier girls, they try to get them out quicker. Um, but hopefully she lasts because she looks stunning. I'm like, wow. Yeah, like I almost, I, I'm, yeah, I'm impressed. I, I'm excited to see what she does, honestly. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I like just <Jessica> wild. <laughs> Next up, we have Bimbo. Jimbo. Just kidding, it's Jimbo. <laughs> I'm totally in a clock by her fans because her stands are like so outrageous and really. Oh yeah, oh, the double standard is so real between Jimbo and um, Coco Kane. Um, the reason why I say that is because like obviously Jimbo's always wearing a large ass breastplate and doing the thing that she does, but like when Coco Kane did it, like she got red to fill for the girls, and it's like why is that double standard there? I mean, we know why the double standard's there. We know. Anyways. I don't know this drama. <laughs> um, um, besides all that and being unbiased, the outfit is very beautiful. Yes. Jimbo looks great. Yep. Probably one of the most polished looks that she's done. Yes, she's a fashion queen. <laughs> Am I excited to see her back on Drag Race? No. This is her third time now being on Drag Race. I feel that the t it should have been safe for someone else to come. Like, there's so many other queens that could be here, and we're giving Jimbo a third chance. <laughs> She looks like they turned a poodle into a cake. <laughs> that's all I had. Well, that's what I was going for. The poodles are there, you see? <laughs> yeah, a poodle who... Ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Before we go to the next girl, I'm just... Because we had some technical difficulties. Diego had to go do some explosive diary in the restroom. Right. <laughs> Quickly. Um... Like I said, there's other girls that could be here. I'm not a hater or a jimbo because I know if you get the call then you need to go, but I just wish that there would be other girls that also would need the opportunity to come back. Um, not that excited to see her again. Me neither, honestly. Yeah. Meh. But anyways, um, now, next up, we have the daughter of Coco Montrese, Kahana Montrese. You forgot her name, didn't you? 100%. You didn't even know who it was, did you? If I saw her on the street, I wouldn't know who she was. <laughs> That's how much. But the outfit is good. <laughs> <laughs> That's one positive thing I could say. I'm actually really impressed by this outfit. It looks, it fits her body really well. Well, there's not much there. <laughs> you was going to say, she's really going for her Naomi Smalls era. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like she's very much Naomi Smalls. Oh, very Naomi Smalls. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Like, if Naomi Smalls had someone that was trying to do Naomi Smalls when Naomi Smalls first started, this would be Kahana being Naomi Smalls when Naomi Smalls first started. Stop comparing other drag queens. <laughs> Me? Um, she's there. Do I think she's gonna go far? No. No. But she's there. I bet. What season was she on? I don't remember. Either. Season 11? <laughs> season 12. I don't think she was in Drag Race. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. She has a chance. I'm excited. Question mark. Oh, it's hot. Oh. All right, all right. Sorry, my tits off. <laughs> Next up, the muse is back. Top four bitch on the track. Please don't sue me for using her lyrics in this video. Hi, Candy. How are you? How you doing? You good? I missed you. I don't really know Candy, but hi, Candy Muse. Hi, Candy Muse. I hope he didn't butcher your lyrics. <laughs> and if you did, definitely sue him. <laughs> Anyways. We have candy if you don't have any motherfucking talent, get the f*** out of here, Diego. <laughs> That's what she said. As you can tell, I am very excited to see Miss Candy Muse back. Me too. The original Emmy producer herself. She looks really good, and I, I, I have a high prediction she's going to do well, because I think after her season... I think she's probably learned a lot. It looks like she has... She looks very well put together. And her outfit is, is fire. And I'm excited just to be entertained because she's just so interesting. And I watched the pit stop and she's so freaking entertaining in the pit stop. She's hilarious. She's so freaking hilarious. Okay, we can talk about how she's like holding the guy's neck like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <You noticed. laughs> well, that's good. 
Yeah. No, I'm so excited. She looks beautiful. <laughs> mm -hmm. The hair, the makeup, the yeah. face, the mug. Yeah. The body. Well, she's not the body. The body's not that because that's not what she says. Um, yeah, I already said her line and I probably already butchered it. Mm -hmm. But oh my god, I'm so excited for this. A lot of people aren't very excited to have her back because what? they're they're haters. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, I'm a huge fan. Oh, absolutely. Welcome back, Miss Candy. Once again, people I don't know her, but I pretend I know her. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Next up we have... Go ahead, Diego. Who is she? I have no <laughs> idea who this girl is, but I know she was annoying. Oh, There's she... always time for a cocktail. Well, actually, not for Mrs. Kasha Davis. This is oh, Mrs. That's Kasha her... Davis. Seven, season seven? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. You know her season. Oh, yeah. That's the worst season. That's what I remember. Bitch. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Mom. Girl. 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 I barely even remember her name. Girl. 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 Okay, you're telling me that's the best season. Season 7 has some of the most iconic girls. Such as? There's Violet Chachi, there's Pearl, there's um, Katya, Trixie. Um, <laughs> you're just naming the cast. The what? The cast. You're yes, because they're all basically Miss Fame. <laughs> basically, all of them have hit the Millionaires Club on that respective season. Max, oh, Max isn't that great. But the rest of the girls, whatever. Anyways, um, hi, Mrs. Kasha Davis. Um, just like Diego Hor is here, you are also sober now. <laughs> That's true. Diego <laughs> looks different, doesn't he, guys? <laughs> this is a sober episode. <laughs> you, ever seen, you ever seen him sober? You haven't. Look back at all the other videos. He's been drunk or high at all of them. That's not true. I, those are all conspiracy theories. They're childhood conspiracy <laughs> theories. Go look back in that video. You're that, not even in that video. In that video, they talk about how I'm supposedly drunk in these videos. It's not true. It's a childhood conspiracy theory. <laughs> Anyways, um, <laughs> I'm not getting the wow factor for Mrs. Kasha Davis. I mean, like her season. Her season was amazing, but this outfit is not amazing to me. No, no. Yeah, it's it looks, it's safe. It's like it looks like they try to make a skirt, but then decided oh midway through like let's make a jumpsuit. Midway, we ran out of fabric. <laughs> midway, I don't know. I don't like the hair. I don't. I, the color is beautiful. No, but it's like the hair. I yeah, it's just the color is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. And then again, they have this little train thing. What the f is this? Do you like a good train? Shut no, I don't. <laughs> oh God. Justice for Train. <laughs> <laughs> Next up we have A Girl from Robust Rack Race. <laughs> Lala Ree. Oh that's right. <laughs> hey Lala. <laughs> Don't sue me for getting your name wrong. Um, um I can say honestly that I love the neck down. So you don't like... I like the whole thing. I don't know. The hair is not doing it for me. It looks like very Beauty and the Beast. Oh, yeah. And she's the Beast. It's like the horns. Yeah, like, I, I mean... Okay, let me rephrase that. I like the whole outfit minus the wig. The wig, to me, I don't know, it sh I don't know what it should have been, but it shouldn't have been this. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it, it's not bad. I don't see what the problem is. I think that this is a very sophisticated look. I, I... She looks like she would kill me. Lala, if you're watching this, please don't kill me. You do look fabulous. I just hate the hair. Yeah, don't kill him because he hates your hair. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I love the, like, caramel delight and, like, the way she's posed. And I can't, she's one of the greater lip syncers. It would have been cool to have... Oh, wait, I don't even know if she's on here. If Denali is on here, then it would be cool to have Denali on here. But if Denali's not on here, then... Yeah, hi, Olary. How you doing? I love Excited to have you. I love the color. I like how it's somewhat nude. And... No, you can't get nude. It's a, it's a, it's a TV show. <laughs> and it, I don't know what you're complaining about. This is gorgeous. This is so gorgeous. Okay. Next up, we have... Monica Beverly Hills. You can remember a girl from season five, but this, you can't remember a girl from literally last season. This girl was actually interesting, and Connor Montrese was it. Or whoever the girl from last season was. Oh, Lala Reed. Forgot her, too, again. <laughs> I haven't rewatched those seasons that much. 
Girl, I watched them once and I still didn't the girl guard. I'm not like you. Well, hey, Monica. Welcome back. <laughs> Monica Beverly Hills looks really good. She does. She looks... She really does. Like, congrats, girl, on being your true self and getting to come back to the competition years later. I love your disco tits. I love... Oh, you like this outfit that's red. No wonder you're so excited for Monica. 100%. <laughs> But it's not only because it's red, it looks good. It fits yeah, well. it does. Um, the disco ball with like the cutout and how that looks is pretty interesting. It's different, it's not expected, and that's what I like about it. Yeah, it's it's really nice. Monica, you look good. Um, not much to say, but welcome back, girl. I'm excited for to see how you've changed since your season. <laughs> okay, we're on. Sorry, my tits are sweating here. And now You're we in have... California. Oh, it's getting hot! Summertime! Next up we have... <laughs> Who the F is this? Don't remember. Ms. Continental, does that help? <laughs> Who the heck is this girl? <laughs> the beauty herself, Nasha Lopez. Oh, that's her, that's her. Oh yeah, it's just... It's... <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Not gonna say night. Ooh, I love this dress. <laughs> Cause it's red. No, stop it, stupid. The shape is right. Oh, it's also red. <laughs> Miss Nasha, you look good. Your face card never declines, and the way you pose, and congratulations on, well, I mean, Miss Continental was a while ago, and Mr. Continental, you didn't win, but, um, maybe you'll win with Paul Shaggers? Paul Jersey? How you doing? She was, uh, known for having an attitude in her season. No, she wasn't. I thought she did. You remember? Yeah. Nasha, did you? She was shady. She was only there, like, one episode. And it was shady the whole time. Hmm, I don't remember. But Nisha, you kind of look Jessica Wild here. You look good. Yeah, you look really good. Um, can't. I mean, I'm indifferent. I'm not excited to have you back, but I'm also not mad that you're there. You're welcome back, girl. <laughs> yeah, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Keep us entertained. <laughs> <laughs> well, that brings us to our final segment of the show. Who we're most excited to see back? <laughs> For me, it is definitely Mother James Mansfield. And top four on the track. The muse is back. I still don't got the lyrics down. Candy muse. <laughs> so candy muse and James Manfield. Oh my god, yes, those are my top two. Uh, yeah. If you're not the top two, I'm gonna. We're just gonna work out RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's a reason to work out something. It totally is. Justice for James Manfield. Justice <laughs> for candy muse. I have not seen any spoilers, so don't think that I'm saying justice for them for any reason. But I really hope they're top two. <laughs> I'm really excited for Monica Beverly Hills. I'm so surprised that you remember something from season 5. Because when she came out, she came out as a trans woman at that time. And it wasn't as accepted as it is now. That's true. And she is now gonna be in a season where like nobody cares that she's... Well, we care, but like we don't... It's not a big deal that she's trans. And she could be her authentic self. So now that she could be her authentic self, we're gonna see a different side of Monica Beverly Hills. Maybe yeah. she'll go a lot higher or a lot, do a lot better. Than she did every season because nothing's weighing her down. Sorry, folks, she's never that sentimental. <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> she also looks good. She looks really good. She does. She yeah. does. Um, well, that concludes this video. I hope you liked it. Um, if you want to go and um, yeah, things, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And if you do want to see him back, like Eric said, we're at 96 now, and you want to win a date with this guy, oh get me to some more subscribers, 100 subscribers, and we're going to win a date with this guy. Oh, God. He's got money. <laughs> That's not true. Oh, you lying whore. That's um, true. But yeah, and if you want me to react to another video, go ahead and let me know. Leave it in the comments. Send me a message. Send me an email. Send me a postcard. Oh, my God. My eyes are burning. But thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.